Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Toddzilla here again with Joe's Out of War Clan. We're just going to take a peek at a few Town Hall 9 three-star attacks this war. We'll take a peek at Jesse on number one there. Very nice attack. Uh, myself, I got number seven. And Cypher's attack on number eight. Take a peek at Cypher first. He's using a Gobaho here with five Valkyries. Again, the strategy with the Gobaho, come in with your golems and kind of create a funnel with your wizards so your Valkyries don't run around the outside. And then you can wall break her in. Um, a lot of times you can wall break her in and then use a jump spell to get from that first compartment and into the core and get the Archer Queen also. You can see the same strategy here. There go the Valks to take out that Archer Queen, no problem. Jump right into the core. And then uh, everything is kind of in the core. They're taking out the X-Bows and Teslas and the high hit point uh, defensive buildings. And he sends in those hogs kind of at a 90 degree angle. The heal there on the kill squad in the center keeps them alive from all the damage that they're taking up in the middle there. So very smart use of a... Uh, Heal, that's what I generally like to do. Some people like to save the three heals for their hogs and not necessarily care about the kill squad that goes in. Uh, I've seen successful attacks with both, so keep that in mind. Uh, usually people run the three heals and one jump with this type of attack, but there's all the defensive units down, and from there he just cleans up everything else with his queen and the... Barbarians and Valks and Hogs, so three star there. Uh, not really well thought out base. Probably a newer Town Hall nine there should have been an easy three star for him, and it was. I'll take a peek at my attack on number seven here. A uh, few people had a little bit of difficulty with this prior to me attacking. Um, same general strategy, Govaho, I got the 10 Valks and 14 Hogs. I wasn't necessarily th thinking about attacking this base, but it was the end of the war and we needed a star, so I was going to make it work with this. Again, a cluster core design, got the Expos, Town Hall, and Clan Castle in the center there. I use a Hog to pull, and then I throw down the CC... Uh, poison there and that actually really slows down those troops and doesn't allow them to get uh, very far so it kills off the high damage units there with the wizard and balloons which are slower and they don't take, go through the poison so fast throw down those golems throw down the wizards to set up my funnel for all my valks and then once my valks are able to go I send in the two wall breakers but they don't actually go in the same spot here come the Valks, bust right through. I throw down that jump so they can get right in there and take care of business in the core and throw down the heel on them, as you can see there, too. So they go in the core, four Teslas, high hit point. Uh, Town Hall is gone. Expos have high hit points. The CC's got high hit points, and those are all kind of getting destroyed there by the, the Valks there in the center. And then the Hogs come in at that 90-degree angle to take out a lot of the defensive buildings and pretty easy going there on the uh, number seven on this base. This is a standard design that you'll probably likely see in some of your wars if you're a more average clan such as us. We see average base designs like this and we use you know normal strategies that aren't too difficult for most people to perform. Uh, so that's a good thing about this war channel if you want to you know, start winning some more wars and you're kind of at the same place we're at where we got a lot of Town Hall 8s and Town Hall 9s. You'll notice the Town Hall 9s are the ones that win you and lose you the wars. So if you're looking to win more wars, certainly subscribe to this channel. You'll be able to see all of our videos that we do once we get them. And highlight one more attack here so you can see another base to 3 star if you come across it or anything like it. Again, somewhat of a cluster core general strategy there with the go of a hoe. Try to go in with that queen by the queen so you can uh, jump into the core there and get the queen. 
and then uh, funnel with the Wizards after your Golems go down, so your Valkyries go right into that jump spell. And I believe it's very smart use of his uh, excuse me his jump to put it right there to get in from the outside straight into the core. If you're running a base like that, you might want to think about fixing that. If you can get one jump spell into the core, um, yeah, you probably need to fix that. Does throw the jump spell off there because I believe he doesn't want his Valks to run into this little compartment here where the Archer Queen is, and then they might just circle around the actual inner core so that heal gets them into the core and no nowhere else besides that first compartment. Throws down the heal uh, for everything that's in the kill squad, which is very good because there's a lot of damage being done in there, a lot of high hit point buildings. And you can see everything just ate through all those buildings in the center. And then all those hogs that he had come in there from the 90 degree angle to take out these defensive buildings. Kind of a surgical fashion to get the rest of those hogs going in. Um, I believe he actually swags a heal in this attack. Doesn't even use his third heal. Um, kind of a testament to how strong these Gobaho attacks are against these cluster core bases. Valk's just super strong, able to get in there and just wreak uh, massive amounts of damage in, in that core with all those Teslas and Expos in there. Once those are done, a lot of the DPS that this base is doing is completely demolished, and you're left with the uh, cannons, archer towers, and wizard towers to mainly do the rest of the damage, which just isn't going to get it done. So... If you're running these cluster core bases, they're they're very weak against the Govaho attack, which is a very popular attack now at Town Hall 9, uh, given the last update. So if you're still running that, uh, possibly start looking at anti-three-star base designs to prevent that from happening. And you can see this is almost uh, maxed out. Town Hall 9 probably is completely maxed out on their way to 10. I didn't see exactly what their defensive buildings look like, but you can see he's got four walls there left that aren't maxed out, but everything else is pretty much maxed out on his walls, so he's likely on his way to Town Hall 10 there, and you can still easily get 3-star, not using one poison and one heal spell there. So, uh, with that said... As I mentioned before, we're a normal clan. We see normal base designs such as that. And I'm just going to play this one again for you guys to watch while I kind of promote the channel. If you want to win more wars and you're sitting at Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9 as a clan, mostly your Town Hall 9s are going to win you and lose you the war. So if you want to see you know, certain base designs or whatever we we get a lot of popular internet designs very symmetrical designs these cluster cores such as this one and the one that i attacked those are very common types of bases and um, we'll definitely show you how to get the job done in those if we see any other ones we three star we definitely put those in there so you can have an idea of how these normal clans actually get three stars versus seeing a lot of these people who get you know ridiculous base designs and have ridiculous troop compositions to kill everything and you need perfect timing and all of such so if you want to see where the normal people get their three stars this is the the channel to subscribe to we have lots of lots of success uh, we had a 30 war win streak here before the last update i believe we won uh 44 of our last 50 and I believe 36 of our last 38 wars we've won. So not a bad success ratio. Uh, Town Hall 9 is definitely getting it done for us in these wars as we typically out three-star all the Town Hall 9s from the other clan. So thanks for watching. Please give a subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from Joe's Auto. Thank you.